Seven hacks for feeling your absolute uh, greatest, baby. I used to wake up uninspired. I used to wake up feeling tired. I used to wake up not wanting to do anything and just wanted to just watch TV all day. And that's all changed for me, guys. And I'm gonna list how for you. I wanna be friends with you. I wanna help you. First one I wanna talk about, nobody I know of really does this, is the night before. You're gonna get your journal. You're gonna be writing into it. You're gonna be visualizing the night day. A good morning starts with a good night, right? So you're gonna be getting your journal. You're gonna be talking about, hey, tomorrow I'm gonna to feel so good waking up. I'm gonna wake up with the most energy. I'm gonna wake up feeling oh, spectacular. I'm gonna wake up and have the best day of my life. So I know this sounds silly, guys, but for whatever reason, it works. Just try it, it works. Writing down, hey, what you're gonna be like the next day, how you're gonna feel, what kind of person you're gonna be. We all have a to-do list. Not very many of us write a to-be list, who we wanna be that next day. So number one was writing it down. Number two, and I know some of you aren't gonna like this, but ice baths are cold showers, guys. If you're starting your day with overcoming some uh, adversity and just getting after it, you're starting with a win, you're making your bed. You take that ice bath or that cold shower if you don't have, if you don't have access to the ice bath, and you actually just sit in it, yeah, you lose your breath, but can you find it? If you just sit in it for a couple of minutes, you start to get used to it, do it on a daily basis, and you'll come out of that just feeling like a champion. You got all those uh, energy you're pulling out of the ether, and there's a lot of science behind what ice baths do for you. So ice bath, cold shower. Okay, number three, guys. Number three is nature. One of them would be grounding, but even just walking around in nature, if you can be barefoot, that's even better. But just being in the air of nature, you're absorbing ions, you have the birds chirping, the crickets, all that stuff raises our vibration. And just taking a 15 minute walk into nature is going to make you feel better. It's gonna give you more energy. And I, while you're doing this, what I want you to do is just pretend and visualize you pulling energy out of the ether in through your breath. Out of the ether, out of your birth four, baby, number four, you guessed it, it's breath work. You can put on a Wim Hof, a Wim Hof method. Uh, there's a lot of YouTube meditation, breath work. I'm kind of gonna categorize those together. So controlling your breath, we need, our blood needs to be oxygenated, right? We need to have oxygenated blood. We need to be doing breath work on a daily basis, especially when you first wake up because most people, when they're breathing at nighttime, they're like, they're barely breathing. So take 10, 15, 20, 100 breaths, whatever you have time for in the morning, make sure you oxygenate. That's so important. Hey guys, I don't know if I skipped someone. I believe we're on number six and that is exercise. Are you getting to the gym? Are you working out in the morning? Are you hitting those like burpees? Are you waking up? I, went, I was in jail for a year, guys, and in there, we, we have to work out. All we have to do is just, we've got somebody on our shoulders, we're doing squats, we're doing burpees, so don't tell me you don't have the equipment. You can find a way to make it work. We were filling up uh, trash bags full of water to do workouts on. So exercise, so important. Number seven. Hey, number seven, guys, really important is fasting. So, so I wanna tell you guys about a study, and I'm hoping my camera doesn't die. I wanna tell you about a study where they took two lab rats, identical rats, their lab rats, their brothers, whatever it was, okay, right? And they fed them both a crappy diet, but one rat they allowed to just eat for a certain period. I think it was within a six or eight hour time frame during the day. The other rat, they just let eat whatever. Same amount of food, same crappy food. And so when the, the rat that ate whenever he wanted at night before bed in the morning and he didn't have that just six to eight hour window, got a lot of diseases and I believe died. And so the other rat that ate, ate the same shitty food just did it in a smaller time frame, so only six hours a day. And basically what that means is fast, break fast. The reason they call it that is because you're breaking the fast. Breakfast is the, the least important meal of the day. You should not even be eating breakfast. But just by fasting and controlling when I'm eating, I still haven't eaten today, it's 12.50 p.m. We're gonna live. People go 40 days without without food, so don't tell me you're starving. Oh, I'm starving, I Like, you're not starving, okay? That's you, that's basically when you feel that feeling of you're hungry, that's you getting rid of parasites. That's you getting rid of cancer cells. Cancer cells need to eat every four hours, guys. So it's so important that you're doing this at least a few times a week where you control when you're eating, you fast for the whole day, you fast for as much as you possibly can, but fasting is so crucial crucial for your energy and your food. Everyone's journey is different. Everybody's on a different path. Everybody goes through their different struggles. So much of the game is mindset. Please let me know what you think. Please reach out to me. I want to be your friends, guys. I went from jail to seven figure sales. I, most of my friends died and I'm trying to just be the best for them, for their families. And it would really mean the world to me if you could subscribe and share this video if you got value from it. And I'll see you on the next episode, baby. Come on!